Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tim and welcome to a Thursday night stream. Everybody's happy, it's a great day in the neighborhood because today we are going to go back to a blast from the past that's going to take your sight away. Or maybe your breath, or both. It's time to play episode Ignis of Final Fantasy XV. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's finally here. <laughs> the final chapter of our baby boy story and I am so pumped. So very pumped and so excited. I am actually playing this on the PC. Half the reason why I waited this goddamn long to play it. I figured if they were going to make me wait for the DLC, I was going to make you wait to play it. Because I wanted to play it at its true beauty. If it's going to be the last thing this character sees, by God, I'm going to make sure it's the most beautiful thing this character sees. And I gotta tell you, folks, <clears throat> other than a few port problems, I've noticed that uh, like some enemies get kind of caught on terrain and sort of do that number for a little bit, you know, and things of that nature. This is actually a really great port of Final Fantasy 15, and it runs like a freight train. This thing gets going at super speed to the point that my computer can barely keep up with it once hair effects is turned on and the SSAOO and all that kind of shit. So, <laughs> kind of tune it back just a little bit. And, um... I figure we can go ahead and give it a shot, shall we? It is being played in glorious 60 frames a second. And I can't wait to show you the smoothness. Because I am streaming still in 60 frames a second. I can't help it. Why not? So remember when last we left off our baby boy's story. It's not registering that I've played up to the part of the Leviathan fight. But I have. So I'm going to continue anyway. When last we left our baby boys off, Noctis had just fought off the Leviathan in a fight straight from the depths of anime itself. He was sitting there, going through with every single weapon that he has, flying around willy-nilly from, from, from debris to debris until the giant snake bit the dust. And, unfortunately, it cost more than just the connection to our friendships for a few chapters. It cost us our Lady Lunafreya. And... Well... We lose a bit of time as Noctis runs around the mines, if memory serves. And then Ignis joins back up with us. After finding... Prompto and Gladio... Off on their missions. But when we see Ignis again... He is... A changed man. We'll say, for those who may not remember. So I feel like this is a great place for us to go ahead and start. We've caught up nicely. Let's do this thing. So I'm wondering exactly what kind of change in mechanics are going to be in this particular one. Uh, you don't have that jump talk button issue. Actually, Harwood, yes you do. Still have the same talk slash jump button issue, unfortunately. Uh, they hadn't quite fixed that one. Although, I, I, I know when you're playing with the keyboard, you can actually set those to be different buttons. But, still play with the controller. Because why not? Having expended all of his energy in the fight with Leviathan, Noctis collapses upon the altar of the Tide Mother. Though their conflict has ended, the battle between the gods and the Imperial forces rages on. Fearing for his friend's safety amid the chaos of war, Ignis races through the ruined streets of Altesia to rescue the fallen prince. Why what? Why would I still be playing on controller? Because it's... Way smoother? There's a lot of buttons in this game. And unfortunately, trying to relearn an entire configuration set in 24 hours before coming here to play it for you guys, having to have mastered it, that's a tall order. It's a tall order. So I'm sticking with the controller. Which even still, I barely remembered how to play and had to sit here and do probably two and a half hours just running through the story for shits and giggles before I felt comfortable enough to even play it again. This game had a weird control scheme. I don't know if you guys really remember. Also, let me know if the game ends up being too quiet. I kind of turned it down to a, what I thought was a decent level, but let me know. A king cannot lead by standing still. A king pushes onward always. Accepting oh. the consequences wow. and never looking back. That is a very said, young king. A king can accept nothing without first accepting himself. Should he stand still, I ask you to stand by him and lend him a hand. 
as his friend and as his brother. Hi, little boy. My name is Ignis. Please. I've discovered a new recipe. Take care of my son. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Oh, I was hoping that maybe it wanted me to shake his hand up and down or something. I must ask your forgiveness. God, it feels so good to be back here. Oh, I really needed this today. This brings back such great memories. It really does. And as the fight with Leviathan rages on, Ignis and Prompto run through the streets. Can't tell a bloody thing from here. Let's make for the altar. It's funny, this whole game I'm gonna be like, is that the thing, is that the thing? Oh my God, cover your eyes, is that the thing? And um, it's never gonna be until like the very end, is it? <laughs> oh boy, um, uh, I don't know if Ignis could have dodged that far. Fuck. Maybe that was the thing. Chapter one, Callings. Hello, knocked out. Who dis? Oh, look at my baby boy getting pruny in the river. Okay. We must swim to shore. Just Total to you. My what? Uh-oh. 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 I'm noticing that this water is very bad. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's see what happens when I get out of the water. Instantly fixes itself. Okay, swimming is bad. Note to self, swimming is really bad. I'll find a way to the altar, but I need you to keep the enemy distracted. You got it. I need a better vantage point. Also, maybe streaming at 60 wasn't the best idea. But anyway, doesn't matter. We're still going now. Everywhere. Yeah, I'll bet they do. There's that word. Ignis's spell daggers are imbued with elemental propertas. Excellent. Use flame bind on your spell daggers. Blade imbues with fire elemental energy are great against single targets. Okay. Neat. They're flame bound. Easy. And let us land five hits. Uh oh. One, two. Th well. He died before I could hit five hits. I'm sure that's okay, right? Hmm, hello? You look like a place to hide some secrets. No, can't destroy those things. Fine. Frostbind deals ice damage. Easy enough. Wow. Okie dokie. Unfortunately, I'm noticing way too much of the choppies. Let's see what I can do about that.
damn it. Because unfortunately, to change any of this, I'm going to have to exit. Probably. Wow, Dan. Really? Really? <laughs> I am so very proud and also disappointed. Hmm. Looks like I might. Let's try this. See if this helps. Sorry, I'm going to cut. Okay. We should be a little bit better now. Yes, Harwood. That's exactly right. Uh, we're going to stream at 60 and see if that helps ever so slightly. Yes. I did storm by my binder, uh, my daggers. And also really awesome freeze frame there. <laughs> Looked incredibly badass. Okay, yeah, that's working a little bit smoother. I might, I might have to do yet more configuring there. Wow. That's a lot of death that we just did. Basically by holding down the B button. I don't even have to do anything. Those spellbind daggers just destroy everything itself. It just keep coming. Hold Y to collect your thoughts and focus or dodge attacks uh, and land counter strikes to fill, uh, to fill the yellow meter. Then press Y when the meter is full to gain total clarity, allowing you to target and attack multiple enemies at once. With your total clarity, your spell daggers perform differently. Ooh. Okie dokie then. Fair enough. Gain total clarity with your stormbound daggers. Press X immediately after taking damage to steady yourself. Press B in time uh, with the prompt to deliver a counter strike. Okay, gotcha. Uh, well, let us go into total clarity. I mean, switch over to the ice daggers, if you don't mind. Or never mind, flame daggers, that too. Definitely hit ice daggers, but it switched to flame daggers instead. And I guess the more enemies we kill like that... <laughs> Hi, Beth. Yeah, I know. No, it's not. Don't, don't, don't lie to me. <laughs> um... The more enemies we kill with that, the more damage it ends up doing too, which is amazing. What about if I just... Knock off a little bit there. That might help. Oh! Still one behind me. Yeah, that's much better. So, unfortunately, it's not like Ignis has the warp strike, but he does have that total clarity, son. So, getting close to enemies uh, takes a little bit of doing. But I really like his combat style. That's super fun. Oh, no. They've got grappling hook hands. Or maybe, oh, yay, the grappling hook hand. I can use that. What? No! <gasps> I have obtained a hook shot from a fallen Magitech trooper. Use hook shot to ascend buildings and cross rooftops with ease. Okay. So. Whee! <laughs> I was gonna say Widowmaker, but sure, that works too. Oh man, Gaia is just swinging away over there, isn't he? Gaia, isn't that who that was? I'm trying to remember his name. Because it would still be a little while yet before we got Shiva. We were just about to acquire Le uh, Leviathan here. The battle wasn't quite over. 
So at this point, I believe that he was the only one we had. Hmm, the district has fallen. Check their presence on the situation map. Okay. Press right shoulder button to observe the state of Alticia from above. Uh, different colors show which party controls which area. Interesting. So I guess the name of the game here is to take back o take back the city from the Empire. Oh, was it just Titan? Okay, fair enough. I honestly could not recall. And so as we go through the other districts, I guess we're going to have to figure things out. This is really interesting. It's a lot of districts, too. Attention, all units. The Hydrian has fallen to the Archean. Okay, check the Empire's strength to begin an area from the fluctuating power balance graph, graph in the upper, upper left. Reclaim an area by wiping out all Imperial forces Imperial posted forces in that sector. The city the I altar. see. All units the up the here in the top left corner. All units withdraw immediately. I guess, I guess, literally right there. Should I... I mean, it says go down there and take down all the troopers. I guess then I should go down there and take down all the troopers. Hip! Come on, Frostbite yeah. Daggers, don't fail me now! <laughs> Ooh! And then we come in with a lance for the first time ever. I don't, don't believe you ever used a lance in the real game. Uh, yeah, basically. So, it really makes you wonder what would have happened if he hadn't have... Well, you know, that thing that's gonna happen. Oh, Jesus! Knocked off balance by the big man coming down. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Enough of this. Total clarity time. Lots of single target fire damage. Except to the wrong single target, but whatever. Come on, banana man. Banana me bananas. Daylight come and me one set your flame. Oh, boy. Uh, left trigger. Away we fly. We fly. And we fly. Oh boy, I know fly. Hmm. Okay, so this gives me a chance to kind of pop back over here, use a pot, heal up a bit, and then re-engage. Yeah, I mean, this really is kind of like a warrior's game in that I'm free to engage and disengage with the enemy as I want. And I'm just taking over air areas. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh oh, lots of missiles. Lots of missiles mean death. Keep missing that X prompt too, of being able to get back up on the feet. And counter strike. Ow, ow, stop it. Total clarity. Nope. Still gotta regain that meter. Wait for it, collect my thoughts. Total clarity. Interesting. So, I wonder how it is I'm supposed to build that damage meter if it... I don't know, it almost seemed like it was a longer type uh, 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 attack mode rather than just a single target attack as we've seen it the last couple of times. So, ooh, wait. It's giving me a prompt to get up on your back. Hello. Don't mind if I do these. Up and away. Oh, wow. That is a lot of damage to that guy. Oh, and then I brush it in his taint, too. Ouch. <laughs> That's a clean you don't come back from. God, Ignis, you are just, you're the best. Time to go overdrive. I'm assuming that means my speed is just gonna be through the roof. I have turned into Rock Lee at this point, and I'm so happy. Welcome here. The Empire has the Archeans surrounded. Until he smashes their ships, that is. And I need to get to the altar before that happens. You could try crossing the Eastern Bridge, if it's still standing. There's okay the then, thing. Eastern Bridge it is. Wish me luck. Fingers crossed. Um, Madam can Sanctuary, I come in. get over there from here? 
I need your help. I fear Nox is in danger. Uh oh. Oh, really? Wow. So this whole area is just open, huh? No. That's promise to keep him safe. Pretty interesting. I'll see what my men can do, but I won't promise anything. Okay. Ignis here. Do you copy? Right and clear. What's your status? It says there's a treasure down here. It probably will be for a while. Understood. Yeah, sounds like you guys are pretty busy. What about Noctis? I don't know. We haven't seen him yet. Do you copy? Huh. So, Lutathon Warriors esque open world murder simulator. Okay, I can get down with that. We can take a break, rest here, regain supplies, save, all that good nonsense. Read a bit more of the map, figure out where we're going to attack next. Neat. I think I'm starting to figure this out. What are you? A note from Prompto. Oh dear, I must read that right away. A note left by Prompto for Ignis. Great, I, but I wanna, I wanna read it. I gotta say, I wouldn't put it past Final Fantasy in this case, but sadly, I doubt we can do all that. Still, have, this is a really fun way to kind of frame this, this whole incident here. Because things were really bad during this time, and we don't really have any idea of how they got better. As it turns out, uh, it's because Ignis is the most badass in the land. What, are you telling me that Prompto left me a preemptive note in Braille? Uh-oh, almost to total clarity. Damn, I keep missing that, that X prompt to uh, get back up on my feet and counterattack. There it is. But I really need to because not only does that counterattack, well, let me counterattack and land more damage. But it also heals me a little bit. Okay, big boy. You and me. Hep. Hep. What do we say? Sniper, no sniping. Sniper, no sniping. Damn it. Oh, I see. I was like, why the hell can't I get back up there? It looks like those two roofs go right together. They don't. They don't. Okay. Uh, this area still has some people left. Up there. Whee! Spider egg. Spider egg. Ooh. Gonna kick him right in the shin. Gonna feel really bad. Got some flame daggers and it's sad. Hey there. Because he knows Noctis is in trouble. Okay, so the end of that song wasn't as great as the original. But, you know what? Even Stan Lee needed a couple of iterations. Okay. Uh, I see our old-fashioned stamina gauge there, so I'm wondering if I can do that trick of being able to refresh it after running it through. Hello? Oh. But I say it's telling me that I'm about to join a battle, but I don't see where. Wow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We've got two Pisces over here. And it looks... Ow! It looks like they found me. Okay, let's take a look at the map here. I wish it would tell me how many foot soldiers there were. Because as of right now, it looks like it's just the one. And I can deal with that without too much of bother. Ask me, the bridge. 
I gotta hit that B prompt so super precisely too. Got it. Because then it's a one hit KO for these guys. Which I think is, I don't know, half cheap, but half really convenient for being able to kill them in a hurry. Because otherwise it would just be ridiculous to have to murder these over and over and over again. But it allows them present, to present some sort of threat because they're definitely the most damage that could potentially be done to you. You know what I mean? Yes, I do, Harwood. And that tells you a lot about the nature of the um, badassery difference between both of the boys. Wow. Ignis is so awesome, I just stabbed him through the wall. I want you guys to take note of that. Stabbed through the wall. Whew. Okay, fuck this, fuck this. Get into the snipers. I wish, I wish they would let you grapple the uh, far away enemies. You know, um, that we can somehow lock onto them and grapple them with my, with my uh, left trigger, but I can't. All right, Stormbaggers. Oh. Gotta make people vulnerable. If I can make people vulnerable, then I get a damage boost. Obviously, but even more so from electricity because they're robots. And with great total clarity. Seems like that makes everybody vulnerable. I'm okay with that. What are you? Don't mind if we do. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> nope. That same jump and pick up fucking problem is still here. <sighs> Gotta stop moving completely, then pick up. There we go. Uh, so basically, no more heroes, Harwood. You're describing no more heroes, and it was amazing. Even with the, even with the movement controls, still enjoy the shit out of that game. Travis touchdown is my hero. With his jerking off laser sword motion. He's trying to run. I accidentally <laughs> splashed instead. Oh god. Is this gonna be the thing? Is this gonna be the thing? It's not. It's gonna be the thing that keeps me from progressing to the other side nice and easily. <sighs> it was really fun. I wanna say they did a remake Have for one of the major consoles not too long ago. Maybe the PS4. You. But our forces are unable to extract either at present. We have no way of approaching the altar. What are you so doing here? Didn't you die already? No, that was lit. Okay. Gods are yeah, you better believe they are because they're literally made to be on my side. I am the king. Well, the prince. The king hasn't quite died yet. I'm going in alone. But, sir. He's going in to rescue I his sister. You were already familiar with how I got this arm. Yes, sir. Then you must also know the ring is worthless without one who can wield it. Very well, sir. How mm. dare you address me with such impudence? Has he forgotten his place entirely? Or is he too concerned about his sister to care? I'm gonna go with a little bit of both. But it's okay, because he still has every ability to murder you. Very quickly. Time is of the essence. Which way As do I, I, incidentally, but that's a completely different story. Uh-oh. Tiagano district has fallen again. Just cleared this place out too. My god. Fine. Fine. Everyone dies today. Oh! Counter. Damn it. Huh. I'm beginning to think that the movement, like, back and forth from the uh, Storm Daggers is actually worth its lack of target discipline. 
because with fire daggers, you do a lot of damage to single targets very quickly. With the ice daggers, you kind of do damage in a, in a smaller area. Basically anywhere where this ice goes. We're able to sort of hurt in that way. But the lightning daggers, they allow you to just zoom back and forth all over the battlefield so much that nobody can really even keep up with you. You're, you're, you're Raijin. Hello, Awer. Welcome. Glad you could join us. And I think I know exactly what to do for this situation. <laughs> Fucking Cole. Um, it's time it's to kick it in the high gear. Come on, big boys. With total clarity. Wow. Wow. So much death and dismemberment. Uh, Awer, if I did, I would have a medical book, but I don't. Okay, so now that we have switched back to just one target here, let's get ready to take him on. I know that stance. I know that passive stance. Fuck you. Counter. Okay, and it seems like fire might actually be the way to go here. Seems weak to it anyway. And, oh, just missed the opportunity. It's okay. We're used to dealing with big guns. Mm, sit on it. That's, that's too great. It's too great. Oh, that does hurt me. I had to admit, I was curious. So good to know. Position to heal myself. I'm trying to get to the treasure that's right behind him, but no. They just keep coming. Okay. Um, oh, counter. Excellent. I think it's time for another overclock. Oh. Oh, I see. So Overclock gives bonus damage to a single damage type. In this case, it's my Flame Daggers. Uh, before, it was my Ice Daggers. And I think I've only had one Electric Overcharge so, uh, Overclock so far. Clarity! Yep. Excellent. Look at that damage modifier, 4.8. This is it. Time for my Stormbound to kick in, baby. Unfortunately, I'm not immune to damage when I ride the lightning. But, you know, we're back up on our feet, no problem. Those potions do come in handy, don't they? You're mine. Hmm. Incidentally, that uh, damage, boni uh, damage bonus goes down very quickly. I hadn't really noticed just how quickly it does. Okay. I think that's it. We have saved the district. Um, can't move. I don't know why. I can move the camera. But I can't Attention, all units. move Assemble my body. The docks and prepare for withdrawal immediately. Okay. We depart in three minutes. Wait, I'm headed to the altar. I need a boat. Have you lost your marbles? No, but we'll lose the king if we don't act. Give him what he wants. Understood. With my thanks. Keep them. I'll take gill instead. It's okay. We have plenty of gill. I assume that it was taking its sweet time accessing the next mission. Ain't a hard question, Iggy. Do you copy? Yes or no? Yes, yes I copy. Then speak up next time. Look, I'm just as worried as you are. Ow. But we can't go losing our heads. If we want to save Nock, we got to keep it together. Yes. Hmm. I suppose you're right. Okay, into the next district. I will. Thanks. With total clarity. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, let's swap it up to some frost damage. Because I feel like that one kind of builds our damage meter. I don't want to say the most, but a lot quicker. Just because it does area damage. I'm already at the max four. Wow. That's so cool. It reminds me a lot more of Shiva than it probably should. And I got a Magitek Axe from that? Okay, whatever. Uh, let's get around this barbed wire. And to a safety point. I said, to a safety point. Excellent. Yes, it does. It's very weird, though. And especially considering that everything's kind of interrupted into, or uh, broken up into districts anyway, it's, it's difficult to get a bearing on, like, you know, the size and shape of the city and the scope and all that, especially in the main game. Ah, fuck. Okay, there we go. I was like, please let me just be able to get over there. But... Even here, sit map can't be viewed from here. I guess I must be up on high in order to get there. The hell? Sweet. I will take that Phoenix down. Probably have to be up on a roof to do the sit map, huh? Yep. There we go. Okay. Let's go up on high. We can kind of see here that we've taken back the uh, Arcaleo district. There's Paquente Park. Hmm. Poli Poli Street and Madriana Street are both taken over by Empire. Tiagano District has been reclaimed, as well as the Dueltato District. Okay. Cool. Making good good waves so far. Let's get on that boat. There you are. Ready to ship out. Oh yeah. Ready as I'll ever be. You must get the civilians out of here while there's still time. Listen. Are you sure about this? Of course. We'll just make sure you come back alive. Both of you. Shall we hop in the boat? Let's hop in the boat. Hang on, note. Jesus. For a second, I thought that was the boat, and I was like, that is one very sick boat. Oh, oh, awesome. Now I can drive the thing. Yay! This is what I always wanted. They gave me a boat in the original game, but they made me sail it side saddle, and now I couldn't drive it, but now I can drive the boat. <laughs> Should be able to reach the altar this way. Am I gonna have to fight while driving the boat? Uh-oh. Is this gonna be the thing? Nope, not yet. Okay. Uh, ah! Okay, no fighting, just a lot of dodging. Uh, I see lots of things falling down. Oh my god, look at Titan just wrecking shop. Let's go between the mad Titan's legs. Nope, never mind. I'm gonna go straight around. Oh boy, oh dear, oh Don, oh gosh, oh geez, oh Don, oh geez. Oh! And he's in the water. Fuck. Nope. Still got eyes though. All's good. Uh. Well, well, look who it is. That's what less good. Royal retainers be doing here of all places. Can you give me a lift? Maybe. I'll tell you if you can give me a lift. Great. No hook shot. Fuck. No hook shot. Um, uh, get back to the boat. Get back to the boat. Get back to the boat. Also, there goes Titan. So this fight's just about over. I wonder if we get to see Noctis do his... Uh-oh. Ow. Get to see Noctis do his thing here in a minute. Why don't I believe you? He says, speeding away. Aw, no oh, crap, it's a submersible! Um. 
Okie dokie. So, I'm get. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. Why can't I be the one doing that? Right. So what do I do? Nothing. I'm afraid not. It will never be yours. I'll make sure of it. Yeah, buddy. We must defeat Caligo here and now. Okay. Well, we know what we gotta do. Uh, unfortunately, my my uh, hook shot snapped, but we do have the total clarity of mind to be able to destroy our enemies. No problem. He says, really cranking up the damage there. Wow. Instantly at 4.0, and then we switch over to Firebrand and continue their barrel. Almost total clarity. Oh, wow. Wow. That worked insanely well, I guess. Roasted, toasted, and burnt to a crisp. Don't let him escape. Oh, boy. He's not escaping this time. Uh-huh. Hello, Prince. Pleasure to see you. Ravers. Looking handsome as always. And so, are we going to get to work with Ravis this time? Because he's on the mission to find Luna Freya. And, of course, Noctis. And so are we. So... Technically, we're working on the same side? Chapter 2. Chances. Are you gonna... Are you gonna kiss me? Please tell me you're gonna kiss me. Because stabbing would be very bad. Nice. Looks like he might be here to help after all. With you, boy. I beg your pardon. I would cook you under the table, sir. Join me. I can secure us a way to the king of the Oracle. How do I know I can trust you? Have you any other Out. options? You have a point. <laughs> I mean, you kind of need that. You fight with two of them there, big boy. Throw away one of them to start the blaze, and well, you're down a weapon. To be fair, you can just pull out the lance instead. But that was pretty unnecessarily badass, I'll say. Okay, collect your thoughts. With total clarity. Wow. Prince Ravis is pretty awesome. I think I won't mind working with him. Our dance of death picks up pace. Most likely. I wish I had one of those handy dandy dematerializing and rematerializing weapons. There's a word for that in Dungeons and Dragons, isn't there? It's not like soulbound or anything, but there is a word for that. Like a certain type of magical weapon will always come back to the person that it's been attuned to. Is that the right word, maybe? Jesus. I see you working that Virgil Slash. Good job, Ravis. All right, uh, you know what? Kick it into high. I can't let Ravis be kicking all the ass around here. You're mine. 
I will say this though, kicking ass in tandem does make things go a lot quicker. Sweet. Let us continue to reclaim the area. I noticed that uh, I have an ability with Ravis too, called Last Rites. I don't have to find a willing stooge to uh, perform that on. Oh, mama! All right, so let's save that for uh, a whole group of dudes. You might be able to and we might just be able to murder them all. If you're ready. In one or two hits. For example, a magical dagger will return to you just like, unless you take the magic off a magical item, it can't be destroyed. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Because uh, I remember having read a lot of the, um, the Dritz Duerden books, they talk a lot about Wolfgar's hammer. God damn it. Whose name escapes me at the moment. But it is ruined in that way that uh, it will come back to him whenever he calls its name or just wills it to like Thor's hammer okay we have found a way into the old town indeed you want to go that way I on the other hand Ravis want to check around for secrets and also let's see the shop Question mark. I am picking up all these items that are basically useless anywhere else. So what, pray tell, could it be used for here? Huh. That's got to be a phoenix down right there. The glowing feather-like thing. That's pretty cool. It's rare that you actually see them, you know, kind of out in the world. A super restorative that gradually, rest uh, gradually restores HP. We've got 2,000 gil, that's it? Oy. All right. I reckon I'm okay for now, then. Although, I guess I could sell a lot of those bits and bobs that I've taken along the way. And then a prototype weapon wielded by many members of the Magitech infantry, but not something I can sell, curiously enough. Okay, sure. That got me a bunch of high elixirs. Uh, no. No, it was not Harwood. I can't remember it right now to save my life. You needn't waste your time. I've ordered a full retreat. They'll be gone soon enough. Very well. Well, I guess we'll ask him a couple of things. Have you seen the prince? Is it safe to assume this means you'll lend Nocta hand? Don't be asinine. I mean, technically, he already has kind Our of interests done that. Aligned in this moment, but you know? I have not allied myself with him. Okay. So, about your allegiance, then. If you're not working directly with us, Why who are you working for? Now? Why now? My sister's life is at stake. Is that not reason enough? Oh. The paths we tread may differ. Ah. The through our veins is one. So too is our calling. I must the hammer goes by the name of Aegis Fang. Made from pure mithril. Hmm. Excellent. It's what a large, it? heavy, perfectly balanced dwarven hammer plus five. Ugh. Prosthetic. That's gross. Your doubts are correct. That is gross. I once believed it was I who was destined to dispel the darkness. This is proof I was wrong. Interesting. That's that same kind of model that 
Caligon was the Empire is after the ring of the using. Lucii. If the ring falls into the wrong hands, I fear there's little hope for either of them. Then well, we must hurry. We either have to recover the prince, the body, or the ring. We haven't much time. Let's move out. Oh boy. That's a new model. Magitech armors are patrolling the area. Approach a mech undetected, and then press A on Ravis' signal quietly. to deliver a I stealth know. kill. Ooh. Okie dokie. So we're gonna sneaky sneaky. We have one minute to take down this Magitech armor with a stealth kill. Gonna kill him and stealth. Keep up. By ourselves. Right. Murder him. Ow, right in the armpit. If that were a people, he'd bleed out in a couple of minutes. That was Q. I wonder, I wonder if his sword's long enough to get like, if you stab through the armpit like that, would you get to the cockpit and kill the person inside? And that's why he did that. You know, because it didn't seem like it would do enough damage to the mech itself to destroy it. But if he stabbed the person inside running the thing, well, that's a different story. Gladly. <laughs> now it's cranking up the drills, but we got it just in time. Don't get in my way. So long as you stay out of Wow, Queen. Wow. You are 12. It's okay, though. I approve. <laughs> I gotta know. I gotta know if there's goodies around here. There's not. Damn it. Ooh, neat. We can still do that same uh, stamina boost. Tell me, do you truly believe Noctis is the one true king? I believe it goes the one king to rule them all. The of war and in the darkness bind them. His father spared us nary a second thought. No savior king could possibly be born of such cowardice. All right, I'm taking a nap. I can't deal with his shit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and let us save that progress. Ooh. Uh oh. Crap. I was gonna go to the shop, but no! Instead, I have to murder things! I'm okay with this. I am OBKB with this. With great clarity! <laughs> I uh, I appreciate the fact that this DLC seems to be emphasizing uh, minimalistic combat. When taking down the oh boy, that's a lot of dudes up there. When taking down the big guys, at least, uh, because we really do just destroy them in a couple of hits. There's not a whole lot left after a couple of stealth kills like that, are there? And then between the Ice Dagger's ability to rack up the damage bonus and the Storm uh, Dagger's ability to go from enemy to enemy just by literally holding down the button, it seems like combat for this version is a wee bit easier. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Uh, hey, Ravis, I have a job for you. Murder them both. Really, how is he invulnerable? Whatever, doesn't matter. I see I overestimated you. Oh my god! I'm a deadman. I am very much a deadman. But it's okay. This fight is not over yet. I have the feathers of a phoenix. And total power here. Great every time. 
The funny thing is, I kind of forgot the total clarity would be perfect to take down some of those enemies that have elemental weaknesses, you know. Oh, like that cult. Like that cult. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have my hookshot ability to destroy them in one hit anymore. So I guess all that good shit that I was talking about being able to murder these things quickly earlier kind of needs to be quelled a bit. Although I guess Ravis really does kind of do half the job for me. Oh! Uh, sure, Queen. I would say absolutely. Not only can you take a nap, but you can also call into work if you don't want to. All right. Well enough. I could not stop attacking. That. I was stuck in this ever-expanding stage of thrust. The darkness will not wait for his ascent. It will consume our star and all upon it. I know. It's been he sitting there on its own the for the better part of an own. hour. How did that happen? But once he does, he will rise to the occasion. I haven't touched that Dr. Pepper destiny. since I bought it. One can only and yet hope. somehow it still fizzed all over the place. I don't get it. Ah. Uh, well, I'm sorry, Queen. That sucks. Okay. I guess we head to the Ulta. Wait. Is there anything that I could and or should do first? Like, take this lance over to the top of that building. Hello? I'm a high wire act. No. Damn. Okay, it's worth a shot to check, right? There was a store right around this corner. Out of sheer morbid curiosity. What, pray tell, do you have? Having already used one of the Phoenix Downs that I was given, it's probably a good idea to just make sure you're stocked up on curatives. Fair enough. I have definitely had those days, Queen. The good news is I actually get out at 3 tomorrow, so I'm kind of excited about that. An extra two hours early because the rest of the city and kids are on spring break right now. And so my work was like, hey, let's Locked. spring break. Yay, two hours. But it's better than nothing. Hey! <gasps> are you her dog? It was Umbra and... What was the name of the white dog? That of the six. Purifying all by the light of the crystal and the glades of Ula's past. Only at the throne can the Chosen receive it, and only at the cost of a life, his own. The King of Kings shall be granted the power to banish the darkness, but the blood price must be paid. To cast out the usurper and usher in Dawn's light will cost the life of the Chosen. Many sacrificed all for the king, so must the king sacrifice himself for all. Now enter into reflection, let the light of providence shine within. <sighs> What did I just see? A vision of what's to come? Does that... <laughs> Does that mean that Iggy knows? Going into those last moments... He knows that Noctis is not coming back out. Oh, fuck. Now I really have to go back and play the game again. And like, play each of these DLCs at the appropriate time in the game too. I feel like that would be a far more complete experience. With the last of her powers. No. The 
Lucian stole from me my mother. <sighs> and now they make a sacrifice of my sister. <laughs> Get out of my way! <laughs> What are you doing? What I should have done long ago! Ridding us of this menace! I'm sorry, I can't let you do that, Ravis. Stand in my Ravis way left my party. Come to your senses, man! QTE territory now. Wish I was doing this. Excellent. Now I get to beat Ravis's ass on my own. Come on, big boy. You think you got the unlimited power it takes to defeat one of the prince's regalia? I don't think so. For I have total clarity. Damn. That's good bit of damage. Fulfilling her calling. Don't try to kill my Ow, that is a lot of damage. Is he dodging me? Yeah, he's definitely just continually dodging me. Dodge this! Ice in an area, bitch! Get frosted. Kill him, and the sacrifice will have been for naught. Kill him, and you kill her hopes for the future. What hope is there in a future that my sister will never see? Um, ouch. Side now, or I'll cut my That's fine. Only if your sword is sharp enough to cut through me. I'm moving way too fast for my own good now. <laughs> Can't even see where I'm going. Who I'm hitting at this point. I'm just, I'm not even hitting him now. Miss, miss. There we go. That's the hit. It's like we're just continually circling him until we can actually do something. Oh. Ow. Right into his unlimited power. Thankfully, I have unlimited fucking health potions. Uh, not particularly, Dan. That multiplayer DLC looked fun but not particularly engaging. Overdrive. Oh, right. Into the Frosties. Ow. This can't be. It can, with total clarity. God, he has already chopped my health down to nothing. I just used a high potion too, for fuck's sake. A little bit of healing there, a little bit of knocky downy, and high jump! Wow, okay, that works, that works. And might even get us out of the way of some deadly attacks too. Boom, baby! Uh, speaking of deadly, deadly attacks. Okay, wait for it. Now! It's over! Away! Excellent. It's kind of like fly in that way, where we can avoid damage if we time it properly. You know, fly back in the Pokemans. Uh-oh. Interesting. So if I sit there and continue to strike too much, when he's dodging, he's gonna land a very powerful counter strike that will probably kill you. Just at a hunch, probably kill you. God. And away the lightning goes. Oh, Shagalakala. Man, seems like he's got a high jump of his own. Total power down. Excellent. Not didn't choose to become king. His ascension was ordained by the crystal. It wasn't mere happenstance. 
It was a mistake. One that must be corrected. I was about to say, like, unfortunately, Ignis, that genuinely doesn't mean shit to him. Because everything about that crystal is corrupt and dangerous. They stole it, remember? Uh-oh. Oh. I was about to say, I lost sight of him. Jump! Oh! Oh, he's down. He's down, but not out. He's down, and I can murder him. Almost got total clarity. Uh oh. It seems he's going to ride the lightning himself. Wait for it. What are you doing? Oh boy, that's a lot of lightning. Okay. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Go, Ignis! Yes! One good jump deserves another. And. Prepare yourself! Perfect. Oh, to interrupt the unlimited power. Oh, that's wonderful. Now I know how to make the most out of that shit. Ooh. That big 4.0 flourish. I like that shit. Ugh, suck on my 7,000 damage. Ow. Come at me, bro. Ow, he definitely did. Definitely came at me, bro. It's okay, though, because I've almost got the total clarity to fuck him up. Ow. Yes, that total Claritale. And now. Wait for it. Unfortunately, I can't pick up whatever that was mid battle, so I'm just going to have to hope for the best here as we use another high potion. And fuck him up! Keep that shitty arm on the shitty ground. Oh wait, never mind. He just picked it up. Okay, I guess we didn't quite step it far enough into the concrete. I'll have to work on that next time. I always knew. Can I? Can I? Can I have my dagger back, though? You would face your fate without fear. Fulfill your duty without regret. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right about that, Harwood. Part of me always hoped. That I might see you happy one day. Your burdens lifted. Free to live and love as you please. But she did. She lived very much as she, she would pleased. Have made a beautiful bride. It was to serve a grander destiny, and maybe, you know, one wouldn't necessarily choose that all the time. Even in death, the Oracle does not rest. Darkness is dispelled as her calling truly fulfilled. And as in life, I know she will confront that challenge with a smile on her face. Oh, sister, please don't go. Please don't leave me. So, can I have you carry that dead body back now, please? You're still kind of holding on to my dagger, so let's make a trade. Chapter complete. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder how many chapters there are in total. And how long this particular DLC is. We've been at it an hour so far. So I believe that this is actually a really great time for us to take a short break. But when we come back, we'll play it until the end. I believe that it's only two, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the DLC itself is only two hours. 
So we should be now at the halfway point and the turning point in this story. Having taken back at least half of this city so far, I wonder, I wonder, wonder, do I, do I, do? What's in this wonderful DLC? Gladio! Are you alright? Where's Prompto? And we'll find out more when we come back. You're watching this on twitch.tv slash Tomleftwitch. My name is Tom Leftwich. We'll be right back. Bye. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, germs. <clears throat> you guys about ready to jump back into this? Because I am. <laughs> Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to episode Ignis. Oh, wow. What have we here? It's not Prompto, is it? Oh. You. Okay. I was going to say, because right before we left, we were wondering where Prompto was. Arden. Oh dear. Was I that transparent? Why, hello. Mr. Izuna. No wonder Prompto wasn't with you. The game's up, my boy. Oh, right in the eyes. Huh. We knew that Arden kind of took over the situation in the city at a certain point. Why not follow your liege's lead and stop resisting? Change view. Change view. Change view. Change view. King of kings, only to witness him fail. So, it must be so disappointing. My boy. My poor boy. Oh, what good is a world that only ever lets you down? Why not end it all right here? No. You can't. <laughs> no! Hmm. My, you two Seems our, two, our boy Ravis has a little bit of fight left in him. The ring. Whoa, that's a little bit of power. That's a little bit of a lot of power. Talk about showing your hand. Make a suggestion. Rather than follow this flotsam and float away to a watery grave, why not come with me? I can give you about a dozen reasons, mostly because you kicked my friend off of the train! Although I guess technically that hasn't happened yet. Hi Juno, welcome! So far, uh, we as Ignis have claimed uh, about half the city back. We have to fight. We have to fight. That is our only choice. For our friends, for our family, no matter what's going to happen here, for the very grim vision that we see above us. We must fight back. Oh, really? Please tell me that's not happening again right now. Of all times. I can fix that. It's no problem. There. Is that better? That should be a little bit better now. Like, of all the times, I really kind of need this game to function right now. Yeah, that probably didn't feel good, huh? A lot of groaning and grunting. I swore an oath to stand with Noct and keep him safe. Whatever it takes... I will protect him. This is how he does. I may not be of royal blood, but if a glaive can harness its power, then so can I. Kings I believe in you, Ignis. Lend me your strength! The power. The blinding power.
but its power is now mine. Oh my god! Look at that badass! They've shown you their favor after all. <laughs> all right. Oh, to clarify the reason why Arden is my favorite enemy of all time, ever, ever. My damage meter starts at 4.0%. Come on, big boy. I'm waiting on that total clarity. I see everything. Focus on Arden. Come on, come on, come on. Get to Arden. There it is. Total clarity! Really? Nothing? Nothing to him on that? Okay. Yeah, it sure as shit does. And those lightning daggers have way more use this time. Wow. Uh, it's time to kick this shit into overdrive. Ice daggers, go! Basically, all I've got to do is kind of avoid his big kicks like that, which I just failed on. And we should be okay on this fight. Oh, the cold. The blinding ten times damage dealing cold. Uh oh, still in danger again. I could not agree with you more, Daniel. This is stellar. Like, giving you Noctis' abilities back after all this time playing as all the other characters in the other DLCs, it is fantabulous. The ring's enchantment has worn off. Oh no. I think that's enough for one day. Oh, I only got a B on that. Damn it. And that's how they story wise build it. It was enough to delay Arden, but it was not enough to beat it to to beat to beat him. <sighs> Final result, A. Well, son of a bitch. It must be epilogue time, and the epilogue will take us straight to the point where we wake up next to Noctis. Blind. That was rather reckless. Hey, it worked, didn't it? Also, do you happen to have any pomade? Is he. Is he. All right. More or less. All thanks to you. Thank goodness. <coughs> <coughs> Can we take the ring off now? We should take the ring off now. I feel like the ring should come off now. As do I. May fortune favor us both. And you as well, Noctis. Hmm. Wow. And there they rejoin the story, not having any idea of what just went down. That a fake you just came and wrecked shop. We had to take the ring of the Lucia into our own hands, and well. Please forgive me. That was really cool.
Well, I guess I can go ahead and skip this, eh? Oh. You know, looking back, it wasn't all bad. I suppose we had some fun along the way. This is and the last night. Fair share of trouble, too. Right? Yeah. But I don't have any regrets. Luna and you guys brought me this far. And now, I'm on my own. Uh, no, you won't be going alone. Mm -hmm. I'll... No, you're right. I mean, I wouldn't have made it all this way without you guys. Why stop now? In the end, I might not have you at my side, but I'll always have you in my heart. Thanks. Thanks for everything, Iggy. We made a promise. A long time ago. A promise to be there for the boy. A promise we dutifully kept. That was fantastic. That was fantastic. It felt like the mo. I don't know. That was hard to describe. I, it it felt like the most contained episode. Like the most happened in the least amount of space in this particular episode. And yet, for some reason, because it was such such an important part of of the story. Such a, it felt much more pertinent to what happened and filling in the gap of what was missing than the other episodes did. Gladius's especially. Really, he just kind of fucked off for a little bit. We got a little bit more for Prompto, but really the most tragedy happened to Ignis in the story. And I really feel like that was a great payoff for what was ultimately the most interesting mystery to me in that game. Uh, it unlocks a few things upon completion. A new branch of fate in chapter 3. The final chapter of this tale, I'm guessing. An extra verse. A friendly match. The spell daggers. And various cooking utensils. We have received the Crown's Guard casual attire for Ignis. Yes! Excellent! So I'll finally have that costume to wear in the main game. Oh, that's awesome! Yes. I'd agree with that, Harwood. Uh, I'm guessing, Dan and Harwood, that this new Branch of Fate thing is what Juno was talking about earlier when she said that there is another choice. To be made. Resume play from a branch of fate in chapter 3. So apparently, there is another way that this story could go. Newfound allies race towards the altar and find they are too late. Lady Lunafreya has passed. Hmm. So is this picking us up? right at the Ravis and Ignis fight, and I wonder what other choice this may have. I doubt that this is a canon type thing. You know, this is probably just one of those what if type scenarios. A second way that things could have gone, you know, had things worked out differently. Perhaps even a way to save Ignis's sight. Who knows? Bye queen, have fun at work, we'll see you later. I imagine this probably won't last too terribly long, so watching the VOD won't be too that difficult. Loading, loading, it's still loading. 
It's been a while since I get to sing that song. Uh. Um. Uh. Uh oh. I think the game may have crashed. Whoopsie poopsies! Well, uh, let's see about getting it restarted here. Shit. <laughs> Maybe. You remember that thing I was talking about it being a pretty good port, but not quite perfect? Yeah. Strikes again, doesn't it? The good news is, it's not like we're losing any progress or anything. We're just trying to start this motherfucking thing. So we'll see what happens when we try and load in a second time. And you guys get to see the beautiful intro again, which we haven't seen in so long. So very, very long. As soon as that music started up, oh, I was in tears. A Final Fantasy for fans and first timers from Square Enix. Yeah, you did, Juno. You damn sure did. A great part, I'd say. Final Fantasy. Windows Edition. Okay, let us pick up the DLC. Hopefully exactly where we left off. Without too much of bother. Episode Eagle. Now, I believe that the loading times are slightly less in the PC. But then again, it does have a lot more to load. So I wonder if that has a, a large part to do with it. No, I did not expect that at all, Juno. I, of all the ways that he could have lost that sight, that was easily the best. Easily the best and most unexpected. That was fantastic. After literally having the conversation, well, no, actually it wasn't Ignis that had that conversation with Ravis about how he lost his arm to get to kind of see that again. To remind you, oh, fuck, if anybody who isn't Noctis puts on that ring, they must pay the price. And for Ravis, it was something as simple as his arm. But for Ignis, it's something way more important. Come on. Come on, please don't crash. Come on, please don't crash. Yay! And that was way faster, too. Biggie! Gladio! Hello, my boy. Not Gladio! Are you alright? Where's Prompto? Jesus, that is so much louder. Well, well. What have we here? <laughs> you. Oh, I understand that, Harwood, but by that same token. Was I that they really bad? did take the focus off of Noctis by having such big mysteries left unexplored. You know what I mean? It would have been really great to take a break from that main story at those points to see these side stories and fill in those mysteries so that you weren't wondering about it for the rest of the fucking game. Which I absolutely was. And it looks like we're even picking up past the Ravis fight. Ravis, whatever. So then, this chapter, this change, might be even more about what, what would have happened if Arden died here. Or maybe if we died here. I know I am. Oh, what good is a world I love being able to change the views here. It's so fantastic. No. You can't. <laughs> no! So here we go. My, you two certainly have become fun. 
fast friends. <laughs> and power fist. Whew. And just ruin the two guards next to him, too. I mean, wanton disregard for his own people. That's the mark of a true villain. to make a suggestion. Rather than follow this flotsam and float away to a watery grave, why not come with me? I know. I agree so much, Juno. Like, he could be a better writ uh, written villain, but only by so much. He's already really fantastic. Wait a minute, what? Fight back leads to the blinding, but there is another way to play along with Arden's scheme. Hoping, uh, having arrived at the altar of the Tide Mother, Ignis finds himself surrounded by the Empire. Arden then lays before him two options. What sacrifice is the young tactician willing to make to save his dear friend Noctis? Hmm. That is actually way different than any of us thought that would go. To play along with Arden Izuna and see even more from him, this will be good. Hello, Iggy, my boy. And I think Queen might have been right, actually, that his hair does darken a little bit after he does the thing. Why, Zignotus Keep, of course. Otherwise known as the current residence of your precious crystal. Mm hmm. Have I piqued your curiosity? You must have so many questions. I do, actually. Seek the answers yourself, if you dare. Okay. If his word is good, then he's brought me to Grania. The question is why? What's his game? All the way to Zegnatus Keep. I don't have any of my weapons right now, unfortunately. At least I don't think I do. Yeah, gear is currently locked. Crap. It is. It's where we found out about Prompto being part demon. Unfortunately, I can't run or anything. I'm stuck at a slightly brisk walk. That would be why. The crystal. Blessed was the man born for the throne, yet he, so impure of heart, was denied by the stone and cast into ignominy. Feeding on the dusk and embracing the darkness, he spurned the dawn, affecting a life untouched by time. And Are you the telling me? Of night eternal, he now seeks to exact vengeance upon his own blood. That the rest of this DLC vengeance upon is actually going to be about Arden? Is that why he's after knocked? The stone. All right. To the soul of our star, cradled to the king, destined to serve as vessel of its light. Gods and men alike awaited the coming of the chosen as they fought to fend off darkness blight. For he and he alone would possess the power to purge our star of its skirt. But not really must be the Chosen King after all. The Chosen King to end the entire line. I wonder... It really makes me wonder just how much Ignis is going to learn by the end of this. And also make me wish that this was canon. <laughs> but it's not. 
Yay! More destruction! My favorite kind of destruction. More! That was a lot of countering death. Interestingly enough, I'm noticing that some of my dagger strikes are just kind of swinging over their head because they're so tiny. They're such teeny tiny little goblins. How adorable. And also dead. Uh, anything behind here? Nope. Ooh, dokey. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. We know this place. After him. This central elevator leads straight down to that crystal, y'all. Uh, quick question. Anything? I know this place had a lot of things just kind of stashed in these random corners when we come through here with Noctis, but I'm wondering if the same will be true now. Doubtful. But wouldn't that be nice? Okay. Into the elevator we go. What if it's both cannon? That after the fight, Magnus goes unconscious partially. Arden sows him this inside of his head. Wing is replete with power. The true king will complete his ascension. Noctis. Only then can he banish the blight upon our star. And by, by summoning all of the, the old kings. Is the chosen king made manifest. With the glaive of kings, the stone of legend, and the ring of light in hand, the chosen's power will surpass that of even the gods themselves. And be able to deliver that final blow to the usurper. By that self-same power, with the true king as its vessel, the darkness shall be purged from our star. And at the cost to to our world of his own more. life. How you feeling about all this, Iggy? You're learning some shit today, huh? That whole burden of the king this thing. Shit. You know? Actually, having learned all of this stuff for Ignis probably only strengthens his resolve to stay with Noctis after being blind one way or the other. <sighs> the darkness and the crystal. Wow. Hello. Why don't you tell me a story? <sighs> The true form of the usurper. Why are you after knocked for revenge? In a sense, yes. But my aims extend beyond the boy. He's more of a means to an Emma. I suppose I never revealed my proper name. So allow me to introduce myself. Lucis Kylo. The Founder King? If only. No, that would be the usurper brother, king. Who snatched the throne and cast me. I didn't I see Juno. Your Majesty before. Would you do me the honor? My allegiance lies with the true king alone. Well then, off with your head. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, I don't think he did, Juno. And that's gonna lead to a very bad time, unless we draw power straight from the crystal itself. Oh, would that be awesome? Oh shit. Because this is even more of his true power than he showed before when we had the ring out. No, his favorite hat. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ow. He's like, wait a minute. How did you miss that many times? Oh, well, two, three, four hits. More than enough, but only four out of like 50. Oh, but that, ooh. That one looked like it sunk right into the eye holes. Ouch.
Is that the end? That's the save. You see, the revenge I seek is not upon the boy. I only wish to punish the crystal that cast me aside in favor of that insufferable fool. And our hair's down again, so that's neat. He's certainly taking his sweet time ascending as its champion, though. Would there were a way to expedite the process! Yeah, unfortunately, killing me is it? Ooh. <gasps> With it as you wish. Uh, it's happening. How did you get your hands on that? But I refuse to let Nolt sacrifice his life to save us. It's happening again. I won't let you take him away. Even if it costs my own life to save him. I will pay that price. Now, what's going to happen when he uses it this close to the crystal? Goodbye, my friend. I'm not sure what's funnier, the power cry or Arden's fucking teabagging. <laughs> PC gaming at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. All right, it's time to kick some ass. Oh, shit. Stormbind daggers, I need you now more than I have ever needed you before. Bring me the total clarity to kick his ass. Uh-oh. That's a bunch of pillars falling down. That didn't feel good. Good. Excellent counter strike. 4.8 damage. And counter strike again. Excellent. Um, shit. Shit. Shitty shit. Shit. Excellent. Question. Can I still use... My overclock powers, yes. And with these flame bind daggers, I shall slay you. That is a lot of damage that we're doing in one combo. I mean, it's not quite enough, but it is 13 times normal amounts. I'll take it. Jump, jump, and away! Got him. Fucking got him. Particle effects. The video game. Yeah. And we're up to 15, 16 times damage. Oh my god. I wonder if that just comes from the overclock. I'll bet it does. Overclock not only upgrades our speed by which we can murder him, but by the damage we can murder him as well. And unfortunately, the ring's enchantment wore off again. Wait, did it wear off because I'm dying? Yes. What now? No. If thou dost wish to save the king, a sacrifice must be made. There's only one thing that Ignis would do. Hi, Julian. Welcome. Glad you could join us. The contract is forged. The ring is thine to control. Your sacrifice has granted you the full power of the ring. For four minutes. We have four minutes to murder the usurper at the sacrifice of our own life. And where you at? Where you at, big bitch? Oh. 
time to make that even hurt even worse. Uh, you know what? Stormbinds. I'm thinking are gonna be the way to go this time. Wait, where is he at? Jesus. Your time is up. Yeah, speaking of time, I kind of need you to fight with me on some sort of level because uh, I have three minutes remaining. And that's it. Of course he is, Juno. He said it himself right in the dialogue before we started this fight. There was no choice for him. A lot of good counter-strike and knockdown damage. Excellent. 69%. 73%. The time for murder has arrived. Let's overclock this shit. Wow. 149% damage. As long as I hit him with these bad boys. I'm afraid you're no Uh oh. Good, my health is nice and high, so a high potion is, is very useful here. Up, up, and away! That should be it. The last strike to the Usurper King. Did we do it? Does the game end early here? <laughs> the best lane. Dan, I, I I hear you. I'm just kind of absorbed at the moment. Crap. Eluded me for now. But rest assured, I shall have my revenge. Magnus! We did it. At the cost of our own life, we forestalled Arden's quest. But how? Ravis. He lent us a hand, if you can believe it. What the hell were you thinking? I was thinking that we won. How could we won. let this happen? How could I let this happen? This is all my fault. No. If I'm really some kind of savior, why can't I save the ones I love? I'm sorry. You guys have stayed with me this whole time. And all it's done has caused you pain. <sighs> Not anymore. All that ends now. Please! Lend me your strength! Help me! Protect my friends! He's not gonna die here. Our boy's not gonna die here. Not today. Wait, he even opened his eyes a little. You don't suppose... No. He's definitely blind. Wait, no! He can't be! Because otherwise, how would he have seen... Noctis not... There!
He had to have been able to see. We did it. Listen well. We changed the history. A king cannot lead by standing still. A king pushes onward always, accepting the consequences and never looking back. being awfully coy about letting you see his face. And away everyone goes, looking at all the tombs and checking out the sights. Ooh, hello. Missed you this story. And then Prompto and Gladio made it all the way out of the mountains at the far, far end of the world. It's over by the power plant here. I don't know. I still can't tell. Ravis and Ignis got a little bit closer in that encounter in Arden. Constantly lusting after the throne. When will he come back again? When he does, we'll be ready. Wait. He can see. Those glasses are not opaque. <gasps> we did it! It's been a long road. Okay, that makes me feel Last really good. Arrived. That makes me feel really good. Yeah. Prompto. Gladio. Iggy. For ten and Iggy years. knows what's about to happen. Everything For ten years, I've known that when we come to this place, this day. you're not going to make it. Today, yeah, see, even his eye scar is different. Right. Today, we walked all together. Hello. Didn't think I'd see you here. I don't know, I think everybody changes just a little bit. Prompto gets a goatee. Gladius's beard gets filled in. Iggy's pompadour gets even bigger. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's definitely the most drastic change, for sure. Thank you. Thank you, Ravis. Well, because he just gave us his sword, Dan. Duh. He don't have a sword anymore. Kind of just gave it to him. And the morning comes. Huh. We're still not done. That's the second time they show the ending card. 
So does Noctis live? I think Noctis lives this time. And just takes his place on the throne. Hello, your majesty. With the same knee brace on that his father had. Your majesty. It is a... It is so great to see you. Possibilities. Wow. Okay. That was a really great way to do that DLC because I think Juno was right. There were a lot of people asking for a much happier end to Final Fantasy 15 because let's face it, it was, that shit was super depressing, dude. That shit was super depressing, but very good. It was very good that a game was willing to take that chance to be meaningful. You know, that's a story I'm not gonna forget for a long time. But I appreciate the fact that they give you the canon and then they give you what you want. Which is the ability to change that history. And, and get that happy ending. I guess it was you, Dan. And I am really glad that they did that. And I'm really glad that we played this DLC tonight. And I'm really, really, really glad that Final Fantasy 15 exists in its full form. Uh, that you can get now on PC for a reasonable price at a much higher quality of play and with all the DLC included. I really want to say that it's 40 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check that. And you know, Dan, I, I would agree. That fucking costume with him eyes a blazing was so badass so awesome if they would give that to me in any shape or form in the main game oh my god even if it is like just when he's using his special abilities you know but i don't know how you would able ever be able to make that happen i don't know god that was so awesome <laughs> Before we get out of here, I am just checking that price point, though, but I have to reload Steam. <laughs> and... Store page. So what did you guys think? Did y'all enjoy that shit as much as I did? Oh, no, it's $50. My bad. It's not $40, it's $50. But it does include every piece of DLC that existed for the game to come out on PS4. And I want to say that by the time you bought the Season Pass and all the other things... Um... It was around 70 or 80. So definitely worth the cost on the box to get everything. If you hadn't... God, excuse me, all these burps. If you hadn't played Final Fantasy 15 when it first came out or kind of stopped halfway through because it wasn't quite your thing, I feel like this version will end up becoming the definitive one by the time it's all said and done. I wish I, I, wish I could show you this thing in its true form because it has um, NVIDIA Hairworks, going for it it has all kinds of ambient ocular occlusion and and things to make this game look like the most beautiful game that is yet to be made i think um or at least one of and and so give it a shot give it a shot yourselves because i think i'm probably going to end up playing through this entire game from scratch because well if i'm being quite frank with you if we return back to the title screen. Bye, Agnes. Yeah, I know. I know. Final Fantasy for fan and first timers. Good job, Square Enix. If we come back to the title screen here, unfortunately, that's not the way I left it. You guys? That's not the way I left it. And unfortunately, I want to fix that. So, uh, yeah. 
Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed tonight's very special stream. Join me right back here on Saturday when we get to pick up the third and final entry of the Nonary Games. That's right, it's Zero Escape, Zero Time Dilemma. Ah! I'm so excited, you guys. I can't wait. Can it be Saturday already? Not quite, because I gotta go to bed now. Thank you all so much for watching, everybody. You've been watching this on YouTube.com slash Tim Leftwich. My name is Tim Leftwich. Thank you all so much for watching, as always. We'll see you next time. Bye!